Hello students. Triangle is one of the basic and most important shapes in geometry. Triangular shapes are found all over the places. They occur in lot of architectural works primarily because they are one of the most stable and strongest shapes. Sometimes we need to find area of triangle. For example, if we are given the measurements of the base and height of a triangle you can compute its area by using the formula half the product of its base and height and if we are given the measurements of the sides of a triangle you can compute area of triangle by using heron's formula which is under root s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c where S is semi perimeter and A, B and C are sides of triangle. But if we are given the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle, can we calculate the area of triangle? Well, one way is to find length of the sides of a triangle using the distance formula and then use Heron's formula. But this method is tedious and time consuming. So, is there any other method then? Let's find out. Consider the triangle PQR and the coordinate of its vertices are P has coordinates x1, y1, Q has coordinates x2, y2 and R has coordinate x3 and y3. Then we are required to find the area of the triangle. Step 1. Draw the perpendiculars from coordinates P, Q and R to x axis at A, B and C respectively. Step 2. Now, if you look at the figure carefully, three different trapeziums are formed, such as PQAB, PVCR, and QACR in the coordinate plane. Students, recall that quadrilaterals are geometrical shapes that have four sides, and trapeziums are the type of quadrilaterals where one pair of opposite side is parallel. From the figure, we can see that the area of triangle PQR can be obtained when the area of trapezium QACR is subtracted from the sum of areas of trapezium PQAB and the trapezium PVCR. Step 3. So the area of triangle PQR is calculated as area of triangle PQR is equal to area of trapezium PQAB plus area of trapezium PVCR minus area of trapezium QACR. Step 4. Now let's calculate the areas of all three trapezium. Students, you already know that formula to find the area of trapezium is 1 upon 2 into sum of two parallel sides into distance between two parallel sides. But before calculating area of trapeziums, let us see what is given to us. After drawing perpendicular from P, Q, R, we have A is equal to Q is equal to x2, 0, which is equal to x2. B is equal to P is equal to x1, 0, which is equal to x1. A is equal to R is equal to x3, 0, which is equal to x3. We also know that AB is equal to x2 minus x1, bc is equal to x3 minus x2, ac is equal to x3 minus x1, aq is equal to x2 minus 0 which is equal to x2, bp is equal to x2 minus 0 is equal to x2, cr is equal to x3 minus 0 is equal to x3. Now using the formula of area of trapeziums, and substituting the values, we get the area of triangle PQR in terms of the coordinates of its vertices. Area of trapezium is equal to 1 upon 2 into sum of parallel sides into distance between sides, which gives us area of trapezium PQAB is equal to half into QA plus PB into AB. Here QA is equal to Y2 and PB is equal to Y1. Also, AB is equal to OB minus OA, which is equal to X1 minus X2. 
Therefore, after substituting these values, we get area of trapezium PQAB is equal to 1 upon 2 into Y1 plus Y2 into X1 minus X2. Similarly, area of trapezium PBCR is equal to half into PB plus CR into BC. Here, PB is equal to Y1 and CR is equal to Y3. Also, BC is equal to OC minus OB, which is equal to X3 minus X1. So, after substituting these values, we get area of trapezium PBCR is equal to half into Y1 plus Y3 into X3 minus X1. Similarly, let's find area of trapezium QACR also, which is equal to half into QA plus CR into AC. Here, QA is equal to Y2 and CR is equal to Y3. Also, AC is equal to OC minus OA, which is equal to X3 minus X2. On substituting the value, we get area of trapezium QACR is equal to half into Y2 plus Y3 into X3 minus X2. Step 5. Now, substituting equation 2, 3 and 4 in our equation 1, we get area of triangle PQR is equal to half into bracket Y1 plus Y2 into X1 minus X2 plus Y1 plus Y3 into X3 minus X1 minus Y2 plus Y3 into X3 minus X2. On simplification, we get area of triangle PQR is equal to half in bracket X1 into Y2 minus Y3 plus X2 into Y3 minus Y1 plus X3 into Y1 minus Y2. Therefore, this is the formula to find the area of triangle if coordinates are given. Note students, as the area of triangle cannot be negative, so, we take the absolute value of the area of triangle as the final result. Here, observe that there is a mode which indicates that if we got a negative value, we should only consider the numerical value as the area cannot be negative. In our next video, we will take some examples which make use of this formula.